the herald angels sing glory to the newborn king peace on earth and mercy mild god and sin is reconciled joyful all ye nations rise join the triumph of the skies with angelic hosts proclaim christ is born in bethlehem hark the herald angels sing glory to the newborn by highest heaven adored Christ the everlasting Lord late in time behold him come offspring of a virgin's womb veiled in flesh the Godhead see hail the incarnate
that we might become his righteousness he humbled himself and carried the cross love so
little babies in Christ and he went through that struggle that mess I have three kids it is messy being a baby right and he came without knowing knowing that he would have to go through every single stage of life just so that in the end he could die and save us from our sins redeem us forever so we're gonna sing this classic Christmas carol, but I want you to think about what it really meant for God to come down here and be robed in flesh and born as a little baby. This is just gonna be voices. So please sing with us, add your voices to ours. One more time. Away. 
Espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came into her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at this saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and his name shall be called Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. He's still reigning. And his kingdom, there shall be no end. And there's no end. Then Mary said unto the angel, How, the, how can this be? Seeing I know not a man. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which thou shalt be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Praise God. Chapter 2. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was the first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went out from Galilee. They were living in Galilee. But he went out from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, unto Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem. Because he was of the house lineage of David to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, espoused meaning not married yet, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. We need to make room today in our hearts for the Son of God. Amen. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them. They were afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You will 
find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Can you imagine the king of kings lying in a manger and not a palace? And suddenly there was with the angels a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go into Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they made haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning the child. And all that they had heard, it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. Jesus Christ, the Savior, is born, and he is still alive today, the King of glory, not a throne on earth, but in our hearts and in our lives. Jesus Christ is alive. of the story, right? The story that is the basis of everything that we are here for, why we're celebrating. He is worthy of all of it. Praise the Lord, church. I wonder if we can all just stand to our feet right now. If we can just give him some praise and worship. Before I sing this next song, I want to ask each and every one of you a question. How many of you have a testimony by the raise of your hands? That should be everybody. <laughs> I was just reflecting on this year and I'm like, God, just thank you. You are worthy. You brought me through so much. Just thinking about his birth and the end of the year and then 2024 is coming up. I'm like, God, you are worthy. You are worthy. I just thank you. I thank you. And I know we all have a testimony. We all walk through so much and we just all have to just give him praise because he is worthy of all the praise. And I was just thinking about this song that Julie asked me to sing, and I'm like, wow, this song is my personal testimony. When I think about the words in it, and I was like, wow, God, wow. <laughs> you, you wanted me to sing this song. So just worship with me as I sing. Thank you, Jesus. Close your eyes and lift up your hands. Don't focus on me, just focus on him. He is worthy. It was my cross you bore, so I could live in the freedom you died for. Come on. And now my
my shame is gone. I stand amazed in your love undeniable. Your grace goes on and on, and I will see. Oh, 
person you're standing next to and just pray for them right now. Just lay a hand on the person next to you. Declare the goodness of God over their life right now. Declare the goodness of God in their life right now. You ought to see us.
you lift your hands and give him that praise today? Hallelujah, Jesus. There is no one else like you. I thank you for the miracles in my life. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your mercy and your grace. Hallelujah. 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 We give you praise. We bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Somebody clap their hands and make a joyful noise to the Lord. Amen. Turn to your neighbor, shake somebody's hand and say, God is great. He is greatly to be praised. Praise God. You may be seated in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm enjoying what I feel this morning. Truly, the Lord is in the house, and he's not done yet. Amen. Praise God. Merry Christmas, everyone. Hallelujah, Jesus is the reason for the season. Don't forget, hallelujah, that he is the reason. Praise God. I want to take a few moments out this morning. and The Bible tells us to give honor to whom honor is due. Amen. And I think most of you know it, but... This church probably wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Brother Vogler standing in the gap on many occasions. Brother Vogler, would you come to the platform this morning? I'm going to honor our staff this morning. Amen. All that Brother Vogler does, and he's the thing about him is he's not too good to be an usher at the door or to pick up chairs or anything that needs to be done, he's willing to do. And I appreciate a man like that. I appreciate his wife. His wife isn't here this morning. She's not feeling well, but she tirelessly works with the ushers and the greeters. Would you give them a round of applause? Amen. Amen. And obviously this morning, praise and worship wouldn't be what it is without Brother Julian. And thank God for Sister Angela. I put Angela on the card because he's only half a man without you. Amen. Love you, my friend. Amen. I love him. I appreciate him. Give him a round of applause. The music is sounding wonderful. Amen. I'd like to honor our youth pastor, Sister Janelle. Come on up. You're welcome to join your husband up here if you want. Amen. Amen. Sister Shay, our hyphen director. Didn't she sing a wonderful song this morning? Amen. Our Sunday school director, Sister Alyssa, come on up. Glad to have my daughter home. Sister Boyd, where are you at? You're hiding back there. Come on up. Our newcomers director, we're so thankful for you and all the hard work that you do. And you'll probably get a phone call from her one of these days, but that's because I tell her to call y'all when you're not here. Amen. 
Brother Gore, our outreach director. He always looks sharp. He's my hero. He always tells me that. You're my hero. So I got him back. Sister Allie, our administrative assistant. We love you. Appreciate all your hard work. Amen. Sister Knox, where are you at? Our tech person, Sister Knox. Here she comes. I don't know about you, but uh, you got a fan club. Hallelujah. She did a wonderful job singing Noel. Amen. I think it was Noel. Silent Night. Sorry. Praise God. A couple of people that we don't normally hear from. Sister Allen. Come on up here, girl. I get these mixed up. I'm not sure if she's the secretary or the treasurer, but she's one of those. And she doesn't, she's the treasurer. She don't get too much credit for that, but she does a lot of work. Sister Rosemary. So if she's the treasurer, Sister Rosemary's the secretary. Amen. Amen. She does all the money, counts all your tithes and offerings to make sure that you get recognized. Brother McCall's not here. He's our men's ministry director. Amen. And I saw Brother Powell back there. Come on up, Brother Powell. He's our, our daughter work pastor in Baltimore. We're happy he's with us this morning. Amen. Why don't you give your staff a great big round of applause? We love them, we appreciate them. They work tirelessly on a weekly basis. Amen, hallelujah, amen. What a good looking crew, amen. We love you, appreciate you, thank God for you. And I know you get don't get thanked enough, but we thank you from the bottom of our hearts and we're grateful that you're not only here, but working in the kingdom of God. Amen. You may be dismissed. Amen. Give them another round of applause as they go down. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. The, the church doesn't just function around me. It's all these wonderful people. Amen. Praise God. And I'm grateful for each and every one of them. Hallelujah. We're going to receive our tithe and offering this morning as you get a gift to the Lord. This will be your final opportunity to get credit for your giving in 2023. Amen. As you're preparing to give, I'd just like to quickly remind you that there will not be prayer on Tuesday night. There will not be a service on Thursday night because Mike Easter is going to be here Friday, Saturday, and Sunday next week. Amen. And service begins Friday night and Saturday night at 7. Amen. We will have 11 o'clock next Sunday. And then we'll also have a 9.30 p.m. service, which will be a communion service and a time of worship and praise as we phase the old year out and the new one in. Amen. Amen. We will have communion on uh, New Year's Eve evening at at that 9.30 service. So please mark your calendars and be here. Also up here on the, on the steps are some Christmas for Christ envelopes. If you've got your Christmas for Christ offering today, please give that when you come in March and give. If you haven't picked up an envelope, please pick up an envelope. This money goes to start new churches all across North America I've only got about 15 envelopes left. 
I'd like to see every one of them gone. So if, if you pick one up and you can afford to give a little extra, pick another one up. Amen. We'd appreciate it in Jesus' name. Amen. Stand with me this morning. We'll pray over the offering. You can march and come and give. Amen. Father, we thank you for all your many blessings throughout the year. Thank you for health and strength and food and shelter. But most of all, God, we're grateful in our lives that you, that we know you in the power of your might. Hallelujah. We're grateful that you first loved us, God, and was willing to wrap yourself in flesh and come and dwell among us. Hallelujah, that we might have life today and that we might have it abundantly. Bless the gift and the giver this morning as we honor you with our tithe and our offering. Let all things be done to your glory. We just give you thanks in Jesus' name. And everybody say amen. Amen. As they sing, come and give to the Lord this morning. Joy to the world. The
Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. I am blessed to have my children here with me today. I'm blessed for my family and my children to be serving God. We're going to sing. You all know it. Sing with us. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind cause I know there is peace within your presence I speak Jesus
for my family. It was about 17 years ago, and I received a little boy into my family. His name was Julian. He was three years old. His mother worked with my, she was a sinner. His mother worked with my son at Outback, and she worked every Saturday, uh, Sunday. And she told Michael, she said, I need somebody to watch over my little son. I don't have anybody. His father was in jail. And Michael said, my mother will take care of him. I love kids. I would have had 10 of them if they stayed little. You see me with all these little babies. They're all mine. <laughs> Those are the 10 that I have. But I had two beautiful children. So anyway, Julian started coming to us at the age of three. And it was one Christmas, and we have a beautiful porcelain uh, nativity scene. And we set it out on the table every year. And I brought Julian to my side, and I said, this is a, a story about the birth of Jesus. I said, what is Christmas all about? He said, getting presents. I went, okay. It's what sinners believe. That's all the kids think of is getting presents. So I said, I've got a job to do here. So I took Julian over to the nativity scene and I said, uh, here's the camel and here's the donkey. And then these are the three wise men and they brought gifts to baby Jesus. And this is baby Jesus lying here in the manger. And this is his father, Joseph. And this is his mother, Mary. And this is the shepherd, and he's got a little lamb underneath his shoulders here. And he looked at me and he said, Mary had a little lamb. I said, oh, Jesus. Mary had a little lamb. I said, no, Mary had baby Jesus. When someone comes into your family, if it's two years old, we have some here with two-year-olds, three-year-olds, four-year-olds, ten-year-olds, and then it's all about Jesus and the reason for Christmas, you teach them that Mary had baby Jesus. Jesus for your family. God may bring somebody into your family and you have to teach them about Jesus Christ. Amen? I thank Jesus we had that little boy for six years. He did leave at the age of nine, but somebody saw him at, uh, Sister Valerie actually, was uh, he was working at um, some kind of uh, Buffalo Bills, and Sister Valerie went there with her family, and he said, don't I know you? And she said, who are you? He said, I'm Julian. He was like 16, hadn't seen him in about seven years, and he said, you know what? He sent me a text, and he said, I want to thank you for teaching me about Jesus. I'm praying for that little boy still to walk through these doors one day. His mother unfortunately passed away in a car accident and he's all alone, but he's living with some friends. But you know, he's going to come to that point of time in his age where he needs Jesus. So we've got to tell it to our family and whoever comes in to our family. Amen. Let's clap our hands one more time unto the Lord. He is so good. So good. So good. Amen. Let's all stand this morning. Praise God. Let's give the praise team a hand of applause. They did a marvelous job. Amen. I don't know about you, but I thank God for what I've heard today. Thank God for his presence. We've got one more song. Sing it with us if you know it. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad.
everybody can. Wish them a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. You're dismissed in the name of the Lord. Amen.